Um, remember those business cards you all dropped in this bucket? We have a deck of slides that you haven't seen. I'm going to draw a name out of here. And you get to come present on that deck of slides. So raise your hand if you put your card in the deck here. Is your, is your, is your card near anyone? All right, we're going to dig around. All right, um, hold on. Flip them up here. Stuff's falling out. Oh, well, all right. All right, Scott Burkett. Come on up, Scott. Yeah. All right, now Scott has never seen this deck before. This deck was um, made by the, um, I believe, the creators of Wi-Fi Cats. If you're familiar with that, familiar with Atlanta meme. Um, so Scott is going to present on the meaning of life. Thank you much, I'm uh, well accustomed to speaking of that. The meaning of life. By the way, I thought I was getting a free lunch. I just went and put 200 of my cards in there. I thought I was going to get like a Moe's or something. <laughs> All right, meaning of life. Life sucks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have two kids at home. Life sucks. Meaning of life. How many love life? How many don't love life? I'm, you can leave now. 3000 BC. Life really sucks. We didn't have cigarettes. We didn't have booze. Baker's Mark came along, which actually is not on here. Um, kind of in between there. Uh, 1908, kind of a shitty year. I wasn't there personally, but uh, uh, fiends, cotton gin. Never used one myself. Um, making gin out of cotton is probably not something that I'd want to try. Uh, bottle caps, I used to freebase those things as a kid. That's worth living right there, baby. This is a picture of Stephen Fleming's dog. Some of you guys don't know that. It's as close as he's ever going to come to getting in space, but that's what he wanted to have. Uh, Bud Light powered uh, dog there. Uh, notice the resemblance. Uh, now, Shane, now here's the deal, see? Now, it's no secret that our chief, Larry, can I, can I have my charts back, please? How many of you guys remember Ross Perot? How many of you don't remember Ross Perot? How many of you thought that was actually a decent impersonation of Ross Perot? Yeah. Pineapples. All right, if you're at home and you need a sex toy, let me tell you something. You do not want to use this thing. Guy or girl. No, 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 no. Now this is interesting, this is new math. This is uh, my first wife, actually. Um, didn't last too long. Um, I'm kind of more into calculators and light switches and things, and she, all missionary all the time. Just wasn't really, not a big thing. Uh, brushing your teeth is good. Brushing your teeth is very good. Life got a lot better when you could hand your spouse the toothbrush and say, please brush your damn teeth, okay? Because, I mean, this is gonna work out here for me. Um, how many of you don't brush your teeth? Just show of hands, that's fine. Uh, don't say anything, just, just raise your hand. Uh, this is a, a random family that was actually pulled off liquor. I think I actually slept with that girl in Berlin in 1986, I think, actually. Oh my God, that's my son. He looks just like me. That's the meaning of life. I procreated, therefore, well, is my wife listening to this? I don't wonder. This is actually a drawing by Paul Freed, the esteemed artist, Paul Freed. Um, this is actually going to be hanging in the Louvre on a special, uh, I'm just going to have it at the high as well. Uh, very talented artist. Paul says that art is the essence of life. Um, and this is actually uh, the first child that I had with my first wife. Um, life isn't always so good. Um, didn't brush his teeth. Now this is actually uh, some charts from uh, StarPound that we're doing uh, some for our company. Uh, we're automating life. Let me tell you about how we do what we do. No, I'm not going to do that. Not, this is a bunch of, this looks like some random graphs. And you know what? I hate math. So life is good for me. I don't do math. Uh, this is a game that nobody plays in the U.S. We can move along right now. This is a crappy sport. Nobody plays this. Why? Because you can't kill anybody. It's stupid. Throw me the ball. No, come on. Even in baseball, we beam people. We hit people. We knock them down. Run into the catch. That's lame. Wow. Wow. This is uh, actually a, a photo that was taken shortly before they stormed the uh, compound at Waco. And, uh, yeah. And uh, this was the uh, leftist uh, female uh, brigade element of the Waco uh, compound. Uh, this is some uh, Italian, or some Latin rather, and this is a guy on a horse with a sword. And you know why life sucks for him? You ever try riding a horse with this shit on? <laughs> cod pieces? Remember them? No, nobody. Only you, Scott. You're the only one who knows cod pieces. No, I'm only kidding. This guy, wow. Okay, this is actually the meaning of life. 
and we've developed some patent pending uh, technology uh, to come up with this algorithm. And uh, for only $50,000 retainer fee, I can help you apply this formula to your life. And then you can understand the true meaning of life. And uh, this, is that John Belushi? I need my glasses on. I think it's, it's either John Belushi or my second wife. I can't quite tell. I've been married a lot of times, as you can tell. I did brush my teeth all of those times. It's, I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, it was over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor. Spam. When I was in the Army, we actually used to eat this stuff. Because it was so much better than the shit they fed us. We used to cook this stuff in the field over a little fire. I'm not kidding. We actually used to cook it over the back of a tank. That's life. That was the legal meaning of life. Therefore, my life is great. Do you know why? Because I have a wonderful wife, two very lovely daughters, and today is my 40th birthday. And uh, I never thought I would live this long. And this is a picture of me when I really thought life was good. This is me in, uh, in my band days when I used to be the singer of a heavy metal band. Yeah, we recorded a final record. How many of you remember those things, baby? Yeah, it was awesome. And life was really, really good for me back then. But life is better now. I hope life is better for you too after this is over. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Um, yeah, Scott had no clue that was coming. Um, and we appreciate him putting up with that.